hearing sirens in a world so violent. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan Flowers. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're not here, hey boo, welcome to another weekly vlog. We are headed to New York with the girls. So I'm going to try not to do too much of a montage. Um, uh, what are we doing? I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to um, Old Factory. We're going to make some perfume. We're going to get something to eat. And yeah. Oh, did she know you were it's all of us uh, vlogging at the same time. <laughs> 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 we're Alexis. <laughs> yeah, wait. We were just talking amongst Girl. Wait, you want me to start over? Yeah, wait, because y'all. You don't want to be in it. Okay. Yo, we were on the train. We were just talking amongst ourselves, right? Uh -huh. There's five of us. Five. We're not overly loud. We're just talking about. We're girls. Like, just, we are just girls. Just about girl stuff. So this lady leans over Jessica because Jessica didn't get to sit next to us. It was four cars or four seats. She leans over Jessica and goes, "Can you guys be quiet?" Girl, no. This is a public train. Mind you, can we be quiet? We weren't. E first of all, it's five girls. We're all having different conversations. We first okay. meeting for the first time. Right. Some of us. Right. So it's just like we're just chatting. Just we're just excited being to be in New York. Joyful. Just joyful. Girl. Right. I love that. Just oh. being joyful. Oh, can we take a taxi? No. I want to watch the city. Right. Yeah, I hate passive aggressive. She was being passive aggressive. So passive aggressive because you think your phone volume gonna bother us? Girl, no, we still talking about what we were talking about to begin with. Trying to drown us out. Right, like, trying to drown us out with the noise. Thinking like, you big and bad and you're little and small. Like, come on now. You little like me. So, it was never that easy. we get off the train, we getting up, and the man behind her goes, yeah, you did so good with them. You did so good. How dare you team up with this lane? I can't go Child, to How dare you team up with her? And that was like, corny. Good. Cause Morgan was like, My thing is, there's no other way to do it. There's no you other have way to, to be. Nice you have to be nice and you have to You be shouldn't good. have said anything from the beginning. Like, or you could have just moved your seat on a train. I'm not oh, inconsiderate. Did person. she just call to go? Yeah. I just. Did I just miss? Did I just miss you calling a taxi? Oh, it's a line. Oh, period. It's a line. Yeah. Okay. So basically, the story was basically like y'all heard it. If y'all did, if y'all didn't, uh, it's a little hectic. We over it now. Oh wait, it is a little windy though. I don't know if it's gonna pick up the speaker. But we're actually we're about to go to Kokomo. I went to, I went to Kokomo for the brand event with LTK earlier this year. Um, so we're gonna actually catch a taxi. We were debating if we wanted to do a train, taxi, Uber. So we're gonna try the taxi and see how that goes. But we're gonna see if they know how to get with us where we're going with. Okay, all right, bye. Other artist, nearly 50 years after Billy Joel's first show. On the way, we just took a guess on what the price is gonna be. So far, we had 1680. My guess is 50. We will see. Big like a drunch which is like dinner lunch they're petting doggy we're gonna take some pictures our we're going to old factory which is perfume making <laughs> but our reservation isn't until 4 30 it's only 3 45. we got some time we're probably gonna take some pictures oh my god the music we're trying to find a place to do a fit check video <laughs> so we're looking at all the little options yeah get into it <laughs> literally could just walk from Kokomo to the place we're going. It's right here. So we're still trying to figure out the fit check. We might have found a good spot. We talk about <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm.
we finished at Olfactory. Um, it was cute. It was fun. It was very like experimental. I thought I was gonna like one thing and then I liked something else. I was literally just looking up fragrances that I know I already like, so I know which notes I like. But it was cute. We're headed to some stores. Um, they're probably gonna do some shopping and stuff. Did he just pass us? I'm screaming. Why are you still going? <laughs> okay, so we went to Second Street for a second because we wanted to look in and see if we found anything that we liked. Nigeria was looking for like a cute little bag, but didn't see anything that she liked. Um, so now we're just roaming. We're just walking. We'll probably end up taking a picture or something at some point. Uh, we'll probably also head back or go to like towards Manhattan, I guess. I don't know. Just figure something else out, child, at this point. But we're all kind of like vlogging, taking pictures. There's a bunch of people out here. I feel like it got a little cold, honestly. But the sun is like in and out of the clouds. So I feel like that's probably why. Yeah, I want to see what the world like. That's it. Okay, bye. We got Good morning. Hey guys. It is Monday. <laughs> Um, so you guys know we went to New York yesterday. We did our cute little thug thizzle. We had a really good time. We ended up doing a couple different things. I know like when I first got when we first got to New York, I was trying to tell y'all the story. It wasn't it wasn't really a story like it wasn't really nothing really. But basically the lady I feel like that moment was kind of like discombobulated. <laughs> um but basically this woman on the train asked us to like be quiet basically <clears throat> or to quiet down I should say but my thing is like and at first we were just like because <laughs> my thing is we weren't even that loud like we really weren't that loud okay but my thing is also we we're it's 12 p.m. on the public train okay there's five girls that some of us are just meeting for the first time we're excited to talk to each other we're like chatting about every little thing Half of us in the group are content creators, and it's just like, we're just chatting. We're enjoying each other. We're having a good time. We're meshing and mingling. We're seeing, we're picking up each other's energies because I feel like, again, we're, we're meeting each other for the first time. So we're just like vibing with each other and just enjoying the train ride. Like, that's kind of what it was. I don't think we were like, we weren't screaming, like we weren't being obnoxious, but it was just like, you know okay we're on a public train girl like you know just like uh, okay so we we're not gonna whisper on the train like let's be honest we're not gonna whisper on a public train it's no quiet hours other people are talking around us it's just kind of like girl okay okay so the train ride goes on and she ends up like blasting her phone like really obnoxiously. Like we can tell she was being obnoxious and Nigeria caught it like she's being passive aggressive right now. Like just blasting her phone to like the highest capacity. I'm like, girl, it was never that deep. Like it's really not that deep. Um, again, we're not the only ones talking. What it was is just that one of the girls in the group was next to her. And I think that, and mind you, she was next to her, but she was facing us because there was no more seats in the little spot we were in. So she was facing towards us, like her back was turned towards her. But the woman is just like blasting her phone, again, very obnoxiously. Like it just was kind of like, girl, it's not that deep. Like it's, it's really, really not. Um, it's really not. Again, we're on the public train. We like try. We toned it down for like a little bit. There was even a point where we kind of just, we weren't talking at all. But she was just being really obnoxious. And I just was like get us off the train so as we're leaving this man that was sitting behind her he's like you handled that really well and they're like talking about the situation while we were waiting to get off the train and we're just like you're so hype like you handled that well my thing was also like handle what well you you shouldn't have said nothing at all if we're being honest like i just feel like I just feel like it was so extra to me. And my thing is also, what other way was there to handle it? Like, you only had the option to handle it well. Like, what else were you gonna do? You gonna yell at everybody on the train about being quiet? At 12 p.m. on a public packed train, people are standing up, holding on to the rails. People are standing up, it's nowhere to sit, it's packed in here. But you so hype about us being quiet. It just was like, girl, like it just was really, again, passive aggressive and I just felt like it was extra. Like we all felt like it was just like, I guess we'll whisper on the train guys but anyway we had a great time overall like just literally spending the day together 
Old Factory was cool. If you ever want to do perfume making, it was actually cool. They have a couple different locations. But my thing is just like, we just, first of all, we wouldn't buy that perfume for that price, basically. Like, you really pay for the experience. Like, it wasn't worth, because it was $85 to do a bottle, plus tax. So you end up paying, and if you want to tip, you end up paying $100, pretty much. And we're just like, we wouldn't pay $100 for the perfume that we got. It was a nice experience. Again, you're paying for the experience, which I understand. You're paying for the woman really knew, really knew what she was talking about. We were really shocked at, like, <laughs> she was just like off with the uh, types of fragrances, their notes, and just explaining them. Like, she's like, yeah, I've been working here since like 2019. And I was like, yeah, we can tell because she was just, she knew exactly what she was talking about. She was very professional. Like, everything was cool, basically. But, again, you're paying for the experience. The fragrances were cool. You got to pick from, like, a core fragrance, which is what we were doing in the very beginning. And then, afterwards, you got to pick, like, you got to choose from preset notes that they had. Like, they already had a couple different, like, types of notes that the fragrance, the, I don't know what she would be considered. The woman, the fragrance lady? <laughs> I know that's not what she's called, like, perfumist. Like, I don't know what she would be called, but she then like picked different fragrances that she thinks we would like based off of what we told her so if you know anything about fragrances this is good for you because then you can go in and say like oh yeah i like gourmands and i like um these type of notes and you have to kind of know what you're talking about a little bit like a little bit um if you don't know anything about fragrances this may not be the easiest thing because well, I mean, I guess you can still tell her, that, like, yeah, I like sweet and fruity stuff. Like, you you can be vague about it, but the more specific you are, I think the more better the the person does at matching you with fragrances you are more likely to like, you know? Like, I ended up just pulling up fragrances that I already know I like. Like, I love, I love Car Carolina Herrera, good girl. I love Gucci Flora, um, Gorgeous Gardenia. I, like, I, I know what scents I really like, so I basically I just went to those notes and told her some of the notes that were that I was seeing that maybe was common and she just like picked smells based off of what I was telling her so that was cool I mean it was a nice experience um I think my fragrance smelled nice it was so funny that like how fragrance works and how like you really have to let it set into your skin and that's one thing that they do throughout the throughout the class you really have to let it like settle because even as the day was going on y'all we ended up we're Cause they they put they do they do a skin test so basically you get to see like what it smells like I'm smelling my hand like it would still be in my hand but you basically get to see like what the scent would be like if you are wearing it out and about how how your own skin meshes with the fragrance or whatever so as the day was going on we're all smelling our hands still we like yo we actually like different scents now that it's later like some of the scents that were that I was smelling after I already picked my scent. I was liking more like the way they settled into my skin I guess uh, after a couple hours I don't know what it was but they started smelling real good so it's interesting how scents work how you just start to smell them differently as the day goes on I do like my scent I'm actually gonna smell it now with a fresh nose because you are smelling a bunch of scents at the time so you know how you go on Sephora or something and you're trying to smell fragrances and you get overwhelmed and it basically is something like that basically because there's so many scents that you're smelling um, another critique we had, hold on, um, you kind of need like a bit of a neutralizer almost, like you need something that, you know how you're smelling scents and stuff, they, like when you go to different stores, they'll have different things that can help you bring your smell, like clear your nose basically. You either smell yourself, they'll have like coffee beans, or they'll have something that you can smell that is neutral or whatever. So we were saying, like, it would have been nice if they had something other than... They just told us to smell ourselves. So just like, okay, it would have been nice if they had something other than that. I mean, I guess it worked. But one of the girls was saying it would have been nice if they did, like, coffee beans or, like, something that helps you, like, really get the smell out of your nose that you have already. Because there's so many smells that you're really, like, getting when you're in the store. But I would say it's a pretty good... It was a pretty good experience. Also, we ended up stopping at 2nd Street. We went to two different 2nd Streets, which is basically like a thrifting, high-end thrifting, basically. Like, it's designer thrifting. Look at my baby. Fiona! <laughs> She's doing so well. Once she starts drawing, like, this is how I knew she was growing, for real. Like, once I, I'm like, you were not down here before. So, I know you're growing. I mean, I know she was growing anyway, but seeing her start to drop like this, I was like, okay. 
I might need to start making sure you good on the pot in there. And also just seeing the new ones come in, like this one is like rolled, if you guys can see. Wait, this one, it's like rolled shell. So that one's coming in fresh. So I've been seeing a lot more of those. I've been really good at watering them, like every, well, let me just say this, because I did, I usually water on Sundays, and when I came in yesterday, well, I was gonna water them before I left for New York, but I was rushing. So then I got home and I took a shower and I was like, girl, I'm going to bed. <laughs> And then I didn't even, I should have done this one first. But my thing is, okay, you see this one leaf is leaning. I know you can get like the bamboo sticks and stuff like that to put it up straight. But like, I want you to just sit up straight. Like, why are you all the way over here? Stop. And then some of them in the, in the middle are turning brown. Like if you can see like the little brown strip. Like I wonder why it's doing that. I do see one that's about to come in. So baby, it's definitely growing, but... I do also see like pieces of like brown strips. Oh, the lighting is so bad behind me. But it was really nice. So basically we went to Second Street, which was cool. So we got some, some, um, we got some stuff or, oh my gosh, Nigeria found tabby, Mason Margiela tabbies, like the ones with the, uh, split toe. And I was like, that was such a good find. They retail for maybe like $1,200, maybe something like that. She found them, they were $400. I said, and they fit her. I said, that we like, that's a steal. Like, we're not going to lie. Finding Margella Tabbies, that's, uh, that's a win to me. Um, another one of the girls there, her name was um, Angie. She ended up getting a uh, Louis Vuitton, like, wallet. So, Second Street is for, you know, the high-end brands. I ended up finding a bag. I think I, did I tell y'all this? I found, like, this little green bag. It's like a Bottega dupe, but it was $19. <laughs> But it looks like a Bottega, like it looks like a Bottega bag. I'm gonna show y'all in a second. But I was like, oh, this is cute. And it was a, the, one of the first things that I spotted. And I said, hmm, I'll take it. Well, I had a little dilemma I'm gonna tell y'all about. Okay, so my dilemma was that this bag, um, super cute, like so cute. I feel like this is such a good, a good find. It's a bucket bag situation. It's so deep. I will be able to fit my camera in it. Like, uh, yay. You know, that's, that'd be my problem, okay? But my thing is, the straps, it, it's presented as like a crossbody. So the straps are fairly long. And I was like, oh, I would love for this to be like a cute top handle situation. But you can like tie the, the straps and stuff like that. So Alexis ended up tying the straps inside. I, it's coming apart now a little bit, but she ended up just like tying the straps so that it can be not as long. Cause I'm like, I would love if it's not super, like I don't want it to wear, I don't want to wear it as a crossbody every single time. Um, like if it was a top handle, that would be cute. Like it's just such a cute little bag. Again, very much a Bottega dupe. The structure of it is great. I don't know what brand it is though. It has no tag, no nothing. So the structure of it is really good. The weaving is nice. Everything is put together. The bottom, like I said, it has a structure to it. Like it's, pretty it's pretty good to me again it was $19 I said okay bet I'll take it very cute for fall like this color is gorgeous I love green green is my favorite so I was like yeah I'll take it <laughs> so that was my little find and um yeah so that was cool as far as the old factory fragrance it was first of all let me say how hectic I felt carrying around everything I was initially debating when I was on my way about whether I should do a big like my big silver bag or like a little little top handle bag that I have something that can fit my camera of course but I was like debating on a big or small bag I'm so happy I went with a big bag but carrying everything was really hectic like I felt so discombobulated I got my camera I got my big bag on my shoulder I had this in the bag because second street I don't know if it was just that location or what but that second street didn't have any uh, bags so my friend walking around she got some Margella tabbies in her hand and we like oh girl we need to find you a bag like we like y'all y'all don't have a bag like you people are just walking out here with designer purchases in their hands and stuff it's just like I don't know if it was that day or if that's just how they operate but that was really annoying just carrying everything like I had a print imprint on my shoulder so that was it now let me smell this fragrance child because uh, you know the second day it might be different um oh I don't like that I mean it's through the bottle but like what is that what I got is that what I got 
hold on now interesting okay so basically they wrote like a little card with like the description of the fragrance that you got so mine <clears throat> so mine just says okay so dylan is the core fragrance that i actually chose so if you ever go to old factory you choose from different core like fragrances and um they have different names so mine was called dylan and it has apple lychee pear and black currant so that was like the notes in that base and then the other ones that i added was jasmine which is she put french and indian and then tuberose i have another fragrance that has tuberose in it i don't know if it was the i think it was the um carolina herrera that has tuberose but she put that in there because she was like okay let's see if you like it with the tuberose so this is how it this is how it comes you end up getting to pick your you end up getting, you end up getting to pick a color so i picked this purple i should have got green but you pick this purple and then you also can choose a name for your fragrance which was the hardest part for me like picking a name i don't even like i don't even want to i don't even want to open it but picking a name was the hardest part for me i was like girl I don't know what to call this thing. So we ended up finding different names. Like Alexis names it hers A. Wilkie. My other friend Nas, she named hers Brooklyn, which was perfect. Like I was like, oh, that's so perfect because we were at the Brooklyn location. So um, uh, other names um, like Ange, I think she named hers. Did she name hers after her? After? No, no, no. Jessica named hers after her dog, which was Willow. So we just all were like pulling different inspiration, but... I had a hard time. I ended up doing just flowers because I was just like, girl, just put my last name because I don't know what else to put. Okay, wait. Okay, I do like it. Okay, that the bottle, the box did not smell good. This smells really good. I think I may have ate, eaten it. Okay, this smells really good. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like. Wait. So again, you get to pick like a color. So which is like just inside. It's just like the purple and then it just says flowers. So such a nice, nice experience. Honestly, it was really good. I mean, I wouldn't pay a hundred dollars for this. Well, what? I, uh, like, if this had a Gucci container, you probably would pay a hundred dollars. Like, please, because I think it smells really good. Actually, let me see. It's such a nice experience, though. It actually smells. What does it smell like? It always ends up smelling like something else. It smells like. Dior is it Dior chance it smells like something else but I, it was a good experience though so if you do plan on going or if you do want to find something to do if you have an old factory near you I would suggest it again it's a hundred dollars but well after taxes and tip it's a hundred dollars but um I thought it was a nice experience so that was cool other than that um I am home child I got home at like 12 something well I got home, yeah, I got home at 12, pretty much. I took a shower, a nice warm shower. I had to wash my makeup off. I put my hair in my two little buns. I kept getting compliments on my story about my hair. I just ended up doing the Bantu knots, which I showed y'all in the last vlog. I did, like, my Bantu knots, and I ended up just twisting up the back. Like, I just literally put twist in the back. I literally just used a leave-in conditioner, twisted it all up, left it in there for, like, over 24 hours because I wore my hair, yeah. I left it in there for maybe, like, two days. Maybe the twist was in there for, like, two days or almost two days. And, yeah. <laughs> Me smelling it again. Excuse me. Yeah, so, it, so basically, back to my hair, I just ended up just taking the twist out and I just literally claw clipped it. So, y'all know me in the claw clips, okay? They come in with me everywhere. But I ended up just doing that, leaving some little curlies out, sticking my edges. I was getting a lot of compliments on my Instagram because I had posted my hairstyle. So, that was cool. Um, other than that, I will say too, like being around the girl, being around the girls was actually just a really good time. Again, we were meeting for the first time, but everyone's vibe was good. We just meshing and mingling and talking about everything. We talked about Love Island, which is always a good conversation, <laughs> always a good conversation to have, um, and just like a variety of different things. And honestly, I can say being around two full-time content creators is also inspi inspiring because I'm like, yeah, like that's gonna be me. Like I can't wait till I'm full time. Like I can't wait till I can just do content. I mean, I will, I don't know. I still debate on if I would, I think I would still keep my nine to five for a little bit longer. Even, even when I know I can be a full-time content creator, I'm still going to keep my nine to five, but, um, really for like health insurance and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, just being around them was really inspiring. Cause I was just like, yeah, I can't wait until like, this is, um, more of what my life looks like. 
um and honestly i was talking to jessica which was a girl that i just met um she actually is philly based i'm gonna put her page on the screen and i um she was saying how she like plans out her content for the week and she's so structured y'all be thinking i'm organized like i be seeing other creators and i'd be like girl that's some organization right there she said yeah on monday i'm gonna do this on tuesday i'm gonna do this wednesday i'm posting this and i'm just like yes like i love that i need more structure i'll have a plan sometimes but like i i can do more intentional content i feel like that's what i sometimes don't do like just intentionally curating some things of course some things can be very random like i made a tiktok the other day when my hair i was doing my hair or um that was very random but i need to create more intentional searchable content like stuff that is more curated more helpful and not just like random you know so we're gonna get there though we're gonna get there oh that smells good <laughs> okay bye and just really quickly i just thought about it i said dior chance i meant dior judd or whatever this one's called this they had this has a similar note somewhere like something in here is in here for sure so i'm smelling this this kind of sometimes people say this gives old lady but mine doesn't necessarily like it smells different but something in here is the same but i meant to say judd or whatever this is called jador whatever it's called and not dior chance that's that's a whole different fragrance <laughs> good morning hi i it is tuesday it's the 30th i um just did my makeup <laughs> i was trying to create some content just getting back into my bag i'm off today so i was like yeah morgan you need to do something but i wanted to come on here and show you guys my makeup actually looks pretty good i think i finally perfected exactly what my makeup is gonna look like for the most part um and i was when i was creating the content i was saying how i literally keep my makeup in a bag at this point like all my makeup like everything i typically use is all in this bag my little bin that i have i don't even be needing all that like i i really don't a lot of I mean, not a lot of it but some of it is just experimental stuff pr stuff but for the most part this and this is all I need for my makeup, um, my, my regular routine, like the, you know, the one I did today, so. That's cool, but I wanted to show you guys, I got a pair of shoes off of ASOS, ASOS, whatever. Um, and I should've sized up. I should've, I don't know what I was thinking because they're a square toe. Um, I just was trying out this look and y'all know how I feel about like my toenails still a little bit better than butchered like still a little bit like I decided to paint them like when I went to Ocean City with my family I just painted my toes and they look fine but like one toast one big toe still has a little bit of acrylic on it like it has to grow out it's actually kind of insane it's like anyway I ain't paying too much attention to my toes right now so these are actually a cute little steel like they were pretty inexpensive too but I should have sized up a half size. Like my foot stops like literally right here. And I would like to just have a little, little bit more space. I should have known. Like Morgan, really? I should have known. Especially with the square toe. But I really like the vibe of it. My best friend had a pair of the square toe like ballerina heels. That she said she got off of. Um, I think she said AliExpress. I think she said. But they were so cute. And I was like, oh. And then I saw these that were like the flats. And I was like, oh, I would get these. And they're actually really sturdy. Like these give tap shoe almost. Like these are a sturdy, sturdy bottom. Like it's not like one of them little flimsy like house shoe. It's not like a little slipper. It actually really does feel like a good quality shoe. Um, these are originally from Topshop. I'll have them linked below. Um, but I think this will be cute for like going like into the fall, transitioning out of the summer weather. Again, it's a square toe, which is on trend. So I was happy to like steal these. But again, I need to. I guess I gotta send them back and stuff. Like, I hate sending stuff back. Like, I hate doing that. Unless it's Amazon. Like, Amazon makes it so easy. Go to Whole Foods, drop it off. You know, they can pull your order right up. Like, it's so convenient. But the fact that I have to, like, I guess I probably have to repurchase them. And then, like, I don't, I don't know if I can exchange what Top Shop is near me. Like, it's no Top Shop near me where I can just, well, I wouldn't even be able to do that. Anyway, whatever. Um, so I have to return those, but they're so stinking cute. So cute. Um, so I kind of wanted to just show y'all those, but did I tell y'all? When the last time I talked to y'all? Hold on. Okay, right. So I didn't tell you guys that I announced my third canvases and cocktails, which is going to be canvases and mocktails. 
and it's this concept I told you guys about already where you like paint your glasses we're gonna paint the glasses and make mocktails but my thing is I did get a comment um, about like a, a an what's it called I forgot what it's called I have to go back to my screenshot but they basically suggested something that I can put over it like a polish or like a gloss or a glaze or something so I have to do some research on that um, just to see if I want to try or if we want to try and keep this like um, paint on it you know because I'm thinking right now that it'll wash off for the most part like say if they spill the mocktail on on the glass it's like or it may smear I guess so I should probably try and figure out something that I can put on the glass that's clear that'll still make it look good so I have to do some experimenting with this one I, w I am going to do another one paint another one for promo like I want to do like a promo video where like I'm painting it and just oh and just post that like that so that's my vision for it for it but I did post it yesterday when I was with Naj um um I was with the girls on Sunday Naj was like you gotta post it like girl what you waiting for basically and I was like you know what you're so right like I'm just dragging my feet on posting it and like promoting it I don't know what it was just like a shyness I guess or like I feel like since this is a different concept for me like I I'm a little scared of it almost so um yeah I think it'll be fun though I don't know like I was telling y'all before I don't know why I'm acting like my events don't be cute like I really do put a lot of effort into the things that I purchase the things that like make the event the event um so I'm I don't the shyness just gotta go like girl God please remove the anxiety out of my body get rid of it you know so I can just go ahead and fall full-fledged into my concept I mean I have no choice now people already started getting tickets I got no choice but to fall full flesh into it I can't back out now so girl you better get it together so I'm gonna get it together y'all uh so yeah okay I didn't eat any breakfast it's literally the going on nine what time is it it's 901 so I was gonna go skating this morning I probably still should I could just wash my face off real quick I want to do something act active and if you follow me on Instagram, then you know, like, I'll do a poll of, like, what do you think I did today? And it'll be arranging from my different classes on class pass, whether it's Pilates, bar, hot yoga. I'll put roller skating on there. I'll put bike riding on there. Anything I feel like putting on there that day. So I should do some roller skating and trick the trick people up because I never do roller skating. It's always something else and everyone always just votes for something else because they're like, Morgan, you never do roller skating. <laughs> but maybe I should do it this morning. Um, and I like to go early, like before they start trying to get out on the basketball courts. Like this is the perfect time. So I'm going to wash my face and get ready for roller skating. Put something on and start my day. Okay. Well, keep, keep going with the day because they already didn't start it. Wait, y'all. You know what I just realized? I'm looking on my email because I'm thinking about, like I said, returning the ASOS shoes. I did size up. I got a six and a half. So I need to size up again. I need to size up a whole size instead of a half size. I know I wasn't crazy. I said, why would I get a six? Like, why would I get my exact size for that type of shoe? I wasn't thinking. Whole time I did size up, I just didn't size up enough. That's what it was. Okay, I ended up not going for a walk. I just made something to eat. It's literally just a bagel, uh, eggs that I kept in a boiling, that I boiled for too long, and grapes. <laughs> um, I may go for a walk later. I ended up making some content, editing some content. So I'm probably gonna post something later on. I made some coffee too. So I'm just like chilling for now and maybe I'll go on like a walk later. I'm not gonna do roller skating. So that's it, okay. So I just made it to 4,500 on TikTok. Wait, let it focus. Uh, uh. And let somebody unfollow me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the goal is 10K of course, because then with 10K, I can um, do playlists and um, the goal is just 10k but a playlist would be really cute like I would love to be able to separate my content like oh this is content creator stuff this is event planning stuff like all my canvases and cocktails so, or I would just call it canvases and cocktails like put all my stuff in there because I have a couple different videos about it even like my vision book content I, it's always like getting some traction like here or there I don't know I mean you know 10k is always cool but that's the goal we are almost halfway there, so that's cool. Um, I wanna say too that I was thinking about it while I was getting ready. I'm just going for a walk right now and I'm putting on some black girl sunscreen. But I was thinking, I'm just like, I'm so happy, uh, like grateful for the support system that I have. 
like my friends all got a ticket well not all of them but they all are like interested of course reposting some of them got their ticket already some of them was like I'm getting my ticket I can't wait I'm so excited like I'm so grateful for just the community of girls that I have all my girls ready to pop out and pull up like yes <laughs> so it's so exciting um and honestly like i love like i like i think i told you guys already or maybe i said it on maybe i said it in the caption but just like curating events and spaces filled with community full of creativity like i just love that so that's my jam that's what we're rocking with i think i sold four tickets so far which is good and like good considering the amount of tickets I'm sell I'm trying to sell. Like I'm only aiming for 11 tickets to sell <laughs> because I really wanted it to be like an intimate group of 12, like for the most part, including me. So I really was just thinking like maybe 12 of us just doing our picnic, just doing our concept. Some of the girls who wanted to come to my last canvases and cocktails that didn't get to come so they're getting their tickets or they're expressing interest some girls who went to my last one are trying to come back to this one so like i just love that you know and maybe one day i'll be able to expand it i keep it pretty intimate for now like i'm not really interested in trying to do a 30 a 30 person event not right now like that's a lot of work like i would need sponsors i would need some extra money because trying to get everything for 30 people or something like larger like that that that's a lot you know um and right now the goal isn't for me to make money honestly from the event like i i mean i would like to not spend more than i make but if i break even that's cool too like i'm i'm not pressed about it um i'm just gonna use my old factory perfume i did put it on yesterday and what I will say is that the scent doesn't last that long. Of course, I just told y'all I named it flowers. But the scent doesn't last that long. Like, I sprayed it on myself before I went to work. And I feel like by the time I came home, it wasn't really... Like, usually I can still smell it if it's not... You may not be able to smell it if I'm walking past you. But I can still smell it on myself. Usually, like a different fragrance. But this one, I couldn't really tell. Now, I am going outside. I'm not pressed about still smelling the fragrance when I come back in from, from a walk. Like, I'm not... But I just, I really do like the smell of it actually. So I was like, let me put that on again. I just have on a pair of leggings. Nothing extra. We're gonna do the fanny pack, of course. I have a pair of sneakers on. And let's go. You really my favorite girl. Oh, the lighting. I have y'all on my little table. <laughs> Trying to get the lighting a little bit better. Um, Back from my walk. A moth flew in here with me when I walked in the door and I can't find it. I really want to go take a shower, but I'm on a moth hunt, apparently. Um, can't find it. But anyway, I stopped at the store. I literally stopped like after I was in my walk. Ugh, I shouldn't have bought this. Why did I buy this? I always regret it every time. Like every single time there's a buyer's regret. These are so good though, y'all. I put these on my Instagram story. The ruffles. The flame and cheddar, these are so good. Like, I was late, I guess. I just discovered them a couple weeks ago, maybe. So good. Also got a ginger ale. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, so that's it. You know, not too much. Um, when, it, when we went to New York on Sunday, Alexis got a vegan cheese pizza. So I have one more slice of pizza. I'm gonna just put that in the oven. Well, maybe I should do that after. Maybe I'll preheat the oven. Like, maybe I shouldn't put it in the oven during my shower. It's going to be all burnt, bodied, and butchered by the time I come out, you know? So, okay. Hey, guys, good morning. Headed to Pilates. I'm just wearing a not matching set today. The leggings are super, super old. Um, and the shirt I got from, like, a farmer's market store, it's, like, stretchy. Um, and I like it. So I'm about to grab my Pilates socks. It's kind of gloomy outside today. Um, but let's get on the road because I'm running late. Okay. Okay, I'm about to go to this coffee shop. I've been just sitting here minding my business. Um, I really have to finish my newsletter because it's the 31st. So I really didn't feel like it. It's supposed to come out tomorrow. I try to upload them every, the first of every month. I didn't feel like it, but... I'm wearing this cute, the cute little bag I got over the weekend. I really wish this had a, like a, 
what you call a tag in it it literally doesn't have a tag at all but what i did was alexa suggested this actually just like knotting the straps inside so that it doesn't it's not a cross body because i kind of wanted to just wear it like a simple little one too i don't match at all don't worry about that though i don't match it's this little <laughs> cream i kind of low-key like a neutral situation but i wish i had something else that was green and my slides are these old zara slides so like I really don't match at all but i'm literally just going to get this matcha because what i did was i was thinking about how like new jersey doesn't have a whole lot of um cafes and coffee shops like i feel like if you search coffee shop near me starbucks is coming up duncan is coming up like it's not coming up the little cutesy coffee shops that people have in other states so i'll be trying to find other coffee shops and i found a cafe um that is not too far from me and what happens is i think that i just drive by it without even paying attention like i literally just drive by them and don't look to the left or right because i'm driving so usually i'm not scoping out the scenery looking at the other businesses i'm usually just kind of driving by so i think that's kind of what happened but we're gonna go and see how i just want a matcha but i'm usually an oat milk matcha girly they had like some well i'm pretty sure you can get it with oat milk too but they had some like a mango matcha like they had other types of matchas that maybe i'll try maybe maybe but this is what we're working with i'll link the pants below because i actually love them i keep i'm literally like shrinking them but that's my fault don't it's just me it's not the brand well it might be the brand but i'll just be shrinking them um these are the ones that i wore to my like with my family um to ocean city so i'll have these linked below and this shirt is old from pretty little thing it's literally just like one of those slit shirts and then my little baggy okay bye mind you it was not raining when i left the house look how like the sky got so dark it's not even raining as bad now as it was before it was just pouring but where i came is called tnt's cafe so i've never seen this before <laughs> so i'm gonna have to walk out in the rain of course i'm not gonna sit here until it stops raining per se it did slow down a whole lot like it was it was like i had my 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 beamers on the high on the highest one Cause I was like, oh no, like I can't even see. Like it was that type of rain. So it's definitely slowed down. I, as you can see, I'm dry. Like it was not raining at all. So I guess maybe I'll give it like three minutes <laughs> before I step out. Why? And also, also, why did I decide to come out here and do this at 4:27 p.m.? Like Morgan, for real. 4 p.m. is crazy. Okay. I didn't take y'all in there with me. I got a little nervous. Just trying to look at the menu, figure out what I wanted. And this is what we got. It's a strawberry matcha with oat milk. I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, you guys, if you guys watched my vlog, or was it two vlogs ago now when I made the strawberry matcha at home, that's just different because again, I don't like chunks of stuff in my food or in my drinks or my food. Or I don't like chunks of fruit. Like I don't want to sip nothing through the straw. Like they have boba options. No, I don't want no boba. Mm -mm. Like I don't like stuff like that. So I see like little chunks of, like I know it's chunks of strawberry in here, which is why I'm always weary about getting them from places because I'd be scared. Like I don't want all of that. Ah, oh. okay, some got on me. Okay, wait. Oh, that's very sweet though. I guess as expected, it's probably just like a strawberry syrup. Um, but let's try it. I can't say it's what I expected. Hold on. Um, it's not nasty, but just the chunks of strawberry. It's like a strawberry jam. So, I'm getting like sips of globs of strawberry instead of it being like, I thought it, like, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it. It's just that the matcha itself, like even when I'm not sipping the strawberry, I just put it down, pick it back up. But even when I'm not sipping the strawberry, and I'm just drinking like the matcha, it's not good. I don't like that. Like I wouldn't make that at home or like I wouldn't want that.
I'm trying to put my finger on it. It's kind of just like tea, like an iced tea matcha. Like that's kind of what it's giving. I did ask for oat milk. It's usually made with regular milk. So I was like, okay, can I just do oat milk with it? Because that's typically what I do. But it tastes like juice almost, like matcha juice. I don't like that. <clears throat> matcha milk juice. Like, I don't like that. I do think that matcha can taste different depending on the culture that's making it. Like real matcha probably tastes just like that as opposed to coffee shop matcha or Wawa matcha or Dunkin' matcha, which is kind of like Americanized or it doesn't taste like actual matcha, like how it's used to tasting. And that's what I'm used to. So this just tastes like matcha juice. Again, it doesn't taste like my regular old regular matcha. Just with a strawberry jelly flavor. That's not good at all. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway. Y'all, I made this rice rice and peas, which I burned, but these this batch is good. <laughs> I also put some shrimp in it. It's so good. I really wish I had another, a veggie. I tried to put some avocado in it, but my avocado wasn't completely ripe, so it was kind of hard to get out and blah, blah, blah. But this is so good. I don't know how to make Spanish rice and peas yet, but... It's good to me. Okay, bye. Good morning. <laughs> I just painted another glass. Look at my station. I was trying to have like a white background. Mind you, my canvas is dirty. I just need to throw this in the trash because I hope it doesn't look dirty on the camera. I really, really hope so. But I literally have my paint. Oh, y'all can't really see because of glare, but I have like a bowl of water. My paints, uh, my paints <laughs> on my bed because I was like, sun so I jumped right into action this morning and this is the second one that I painted I just did cherries because I feel like cherries are very typical like it's on brand cherries are like trending right now as far as like cherry print stuff and you know stuff of that nature so I had two and I just kind of like did like a collaborative like I recorded both of them I recorded myself painting this one for the like promo post and then I did like a cute little or I tried we're gonna see how it look I tried to do like a little cheers as if like I mean, there's nothing in it, but that was just like something, just something. But I wanted to make another one that I was that I was physically painting for the concept, um, for the posts and stuff. Because I po I posted just like my picture flyer. I'm gonna put it on the screen, just like a, a basic flyer. Like I kind of went simple with it, but also it was kind of under pressure too because I was thinking like, oh my gosh, I need to post something. And all I had was those pictures that I initially took of this out of this one. So I was like, how can I make something shake with just this picture? And I just made a simple flyer. So now for like a video promo, which I typically do, like for all of my events, I've done some sort of like video promo. And it's just going to be me like painting this. And it's going to be like, oh, come out, blah, 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 blah. So that's that. Um, so far I have four tickets sold. So that's exciting. It's only August 1st. So I have up until the 19th to sell the rest of my tickets. I was giving myself the 19th in my mind it also i ordered this dress and I'm, i didn't get nothing no shipping no nothing i'm like oh my gosh where's this dress at i ordered it for canvases and cocktails mind you ahead of time like i ordered it in july so i ended up messaging the brand i'm like hey uh, it's like a little boutique brand um and when i when i get it and i show y'all i'm gonna put it below but i don't i want to make sure i get it first before i start raving about the brand you know what i mean so I messaged them. I'm like, hey, you know, um, am I going to receive any sort of tracking? Blah, 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 blah. And she's like, hey, like this was a pre-order item. And I was like, did I miss that? Like, was I just too hyped to order the dress? I don't remember it saying pre-order because I feel like I wouldn't have ordered it if it said pre-order. But I also just may have just been so like, oh, this is cute. Let me just get it. So it could have definitely been my fault. And I just was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I, I may have missed the pre-order. But um, she said that she'll have it shipped out next it'll be ready like next week or whatever and she'll expedite my shipping so i was like i appreciate it blah blah blah, blah. i keep saying blah, blah blah but hopefully i have it by canvases and cocktails is on the 25th that's a couple weeks that's two that's two and a half weeks or something like that so we're gonna cross our fingers and dot our eyes i mean i'm gonna have to just find something else if not but we're gonna see Okay, but I wanted to say good morning, show y'all what I was doing, and I'm about to put this stuff away and start editing this vlog, honestly. Like, I have not edited a thing yet. Like, not even no New York content. So, I need to get to it. Okay, bye.
Okay, I decided to go skating this morning. It's about 9.30. These are like my, these are honestly a winter, a part of my little winter workout set. The top is long sleeve, if you guys remember. I got this from um, Marshalls. So I love this little, it's kind of thick though, like kind of thick for the season, but I just switched the shirt out. Why does it look so like what, bright and washed? Okay, I don't know. But I just switched the shirt out so I'm not like sweating. Well, I am gonna be sweating, but I don't usually roller skate for that long. It might be a good 30 minutes. And that's fine with me because I had my Pilates yesterday. I did my walk, my walk earlier in the week. This is my third workout of the week, so I'm okay. Or my third activity, I guess, whatever. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Can I just do the hot honey sandwich? Hot honey bacon sandwich? Yes. That's it. Okay. Go Thank you. If y'all haven't tried the hot honey sandwich, highly recommend. At Dunkin', it's so good. Like, when I first tried it, I tore it up. The bun is nice and soft. The bacon is crispy. I should have got it. Never mind. See, that's why I don't need to be on nowhere. I was going to get a matcha at first, but I was like, no, I have some iced coffee at home that I could just go home and make. But then I was like, oh, I should have got a donut. <laughs> I love a strawberry donut. I also love a, a old fashioned donut, like the traditional just like donut. Oh, love that one too. The blueberry donut is good. It's just kind of like doughy and that's it. Oh, and I used to get a blueberry muffin from here too. I wish they had a corn muffin with some butter. <laughs> but try the hot honey sandwich if you haven't yet. I tried it like last week and it was, it was really good. I did make my iced coffee. I need to get some more like flavoring. Um, I had the salted like caramel one, which no, I had the brown sugar one. That's the one I had, which was okay. I like the salted caramel one. That's my favorite. And hold on. And this is what the hot honey sandwich looks like. So it's just like bacon cheese. It's a bacon egg and cheese basically. With this, the bun is really good. And then it has like the hot honey sauce, the Mike's one. So it's good. Let me know if you try it. Y'all, I, I, I completely forgot that I set my payouts for my website on the first of every month. So I'm like, oh my gosh, it's August 1st. Like I got an email saying I was getting paid for my ticket sales that I've gotten so far. So I said, yes, because what happened was usually like with my last two, it's getting dark. But, okay, with my last, I'm hearing stuff. With my last two events, I didn't get I didn't do the payout until after the event so I basically ended up paying myself back like I spent my own money and then paid myself back with the ticket sales after the event was already done but this time again I forgot I said it for the first of every month so it happened to be the first so I'm so excited because I was going to just wait until I got paid to, to buy some um, products and stuff that I need for the event but now that I got paid I'm just gonna go and get some stuff now <laughs> It's so exciting because I'm like, yeah, let me run to Amazon. Now, mind you, it's a bunch of it's it's a bunch of stuff that I need from Amazon. Like a lot of stuff is going to be Amazon based for my event. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but I have so much in my cart, like just little stuff. And when you're planning for event for an event, you forget all the little stuff. I said I need straws. I need napkins. Like, well, I can get napkins and stuff and straws from a simple store. But I'm like cute little straws for the mocktails, like. Instead of people having to drink off the glasses if they don't want to, I was like, oh, I need little straws and just like little, a bunch of random stuff. Oh my gosh. I need like little trays. I need a condiment tray to put the mocktail ingredients in. Like I'm going to get strawberries, limes, uh, and a bunch, and, and uh, some other stuff. Uh, cherries, like the little, okay, y'all know what I'm saying. But basically I need a bunch of stuff. Like I need the blanket I was telling y'all about. That's $30 by itself. One of them is $30. So it's just like, I got some stuff to take care of. So I'm probably going to just spend a big, well, I'm going to spend most of the money that I got so far from my ticket sales and then just wait till I get paid to get the next batch of stuff and just keep rolling the products in. 
I was contemplating on if I wanted to make it a separate video of like me planning and the pro and the the stuff that I get for the event and just like how I'm brainstorming everything and just like the process like if you guys want to see more in-depth stuff like if you plan on plan on hosting an event or something small for your friends or something ticketed like if you want me to make it more then don't tell you don't gotta tell me twice I'll just make something separate and as far as like all the stuff that I ended up buying but if y'all okay with just me keeping it in the vlog that's fine with me too but I'm about to get some stuff I'm really excited <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about to oh I took my polish off if y'all didn't notice I need to repaint my nails um so I'm just gonna get some stuff oh I found these little cute daisy napkins you see the little flower napkins like how cute are they like a bunch of little flower napkins oh that's so cute <laughs> so I'm gonna get some stuff and then of course when they come in I'll show you guys what I what I get and if you have a preference between whether I should make a different vlog make a different video or keep it in the vlog let me know To, excuse me today is actually Friday it's the second I did like a little blush look this morning I put some mascara on too but I just put some blush on I think I like I got like the vibe I actually mixed two blushes I mixed the lip bar in sweet cheeks and then I used my NARS insatiable I like them together I just did like a dot dot I made it I, I recorded a TikTok so if you have me on TikTok then you would have seen it by now um but this morning I I'm headed to Walmart I need to go to Walmart and then I need to go and then I not need but I really want to go to a fresh produce market um I complained to y'all about my fruits being beat battered and butchered um and I wanted some cherries like I've been stripped of my cherries experience this summer like the last well not all summer because I've been tearing the cherries up but my last experience with cherries were not good like they were they were I mean I guess cherries can be really dark like purple like I know that but they were like really dark, kind of soft, and like a little bruised. Again, be battered and butchered. And I didn't like, like, I was just like, I need something fresh. And like, I was watching someone else eat cherries. I think it was on like TikTok or something. They had some cherries. And they look so, they look so firm and fresh. And I was like, oh, I need to go somewhere else. And then I saw Kyra, my friend Kyra, she uh, posted about a farmer's market that she was at. And she was just like, you know she loves a farmer's market type of thing so i was like i need to just go to a farmer's market and get like fresh produce no price markup straight from a local well some of them be straight from a local like area the local area basically um just like new jersey in general so i want to go to a fresh produce market so i've been like looking up ones i looked up the one that she went to but it's like 20 minutes away i kind of want to do an actual an actual produce market instead of like well produce junction junction is a produce market but the difference to me is the the corporate versus like family owned like I kind of want to go to like one that's just like a family like I want to keep it I don't know I, I think I think maybe because produce junction is a chain so I think they still have fresh produce I have I haven't been there in a while but the last time I was there I bought some flowers actually um but i don't know i just wanted to go to like some i just wanted to try somewhere new that's kind of what it is i want to try somewhere new somewhere like an actual little like farmer's market situation like that's what i that's the vibe i wanted to go for um <laughs> just me being extra i could just go to produce market which isn't produce junction which isn't that far but girl i want to go to somewhere else so that's what i'm gonna do y'all full transparency moment i've i've been having a moth issue and I used to think that, okay, like they just came in with me. Like sometimes they'll be like on my front door and like you walk in and they just kind of fly in with you. But I keep getting moths in here and I think that, I think that I have a problem. Do me a favor, Google moth larva. That's what I've been dealing with. And I need to tackle the issue <laughs> before I go insane. Remember I had the bee issue? And you know what's crazy too? This is what I was thinking about last night. I just started my Happy at Home series, if you guys have been following me on other socials. I just started Happy at Home, which was like intended to just be more appreciative of my space, actually treat it like a home. I feel like I didn't put that much effort into it. Like, I kind of stopped decorating or I stopped like being appreciative of my space. Like, I just had to sit and thank God one day. Like, I thank you for my, my space and, and just like, I've, I've been I've taken away that like thank you that gratitude and I wanted to tap back into that so I wanted to create a series around my home and just like you know making it something making it uh 
just being appreciative of it more and just ways that you can appreciate ways that I can appreciate my space a little bit more so it's funny that when I start that series is when I start having moth issues and I'm like Morgan try to be appreciative within this moment like how can I still thank God for my space even though I'm frustrated like even though I I'm I'm like this I'm looking for the moths in the house because I'm just like we're some one of them some, some one of them is in here somewhere and it's just like it's been so frustrating but I'm still like okay Morgan still be thankful for your space and um just how do I do that simultaneously like I've just been thinking about that so I'm just gonna go and get some like lavender from Walmart I'm gonna get some mothballs <laughs> you know what it is too we losing recipes we so stuck on an aesthetic apartment you need to put some mothballs in your closet like you know what I'm saying like when, like our grandmoms used to have basically and I'm like I need to go back to the to the old um the old way of doing things <laughs> uh I haven't thought about mothballs because I haven't had a moth issue but now I'm like that seems like such a grandmom thing but I need to tap into it because clearly the aesthetic not the aesthetic stuff but I need to focus on the the actual the sanity of this place and not just the decor of it because this stuff is driving me crazy I'm not kidding so I'm gonna try and find some lavender. I did see some some people get like lavender bunches and like have them on their walls. So just because moths don't like lavender and they don't like essential oil, so I'm gonna get a lavender essential oil. And I have a diffuser too, which I forgot. I have it in my closet. I'm happy I didn't throw it away because I was about to. It's from Amazon. Like I just have. Is it called a diffuser? Yeah, like you just put water in it and some natural oil and it just spouts it out and it just kicks out through the apartment. So I'm gonna set that back up because it's in my closet chilling. It hasn't been touched. So I'm gonna do that and try to tackle try to tackle the moth issue. Like, y'all, get out. Okay, the OTD. This shirt is old from H and M. I literally just tucked it in my little bra skirt from I think Forever Twenty One or something. My Vans, my little what you call it bag? What's it called? Anthropology. And then my glasses. I don't know what it's from. Either Amazon or old from Shein. These are really old. I don't know where I got them from. But OLTD, my fragrance is Replica Beach Walk. I don't really pull for that one too much, but here we are. My eyes itching. Okay, here I be. It's back in my home. Okay, so I'm out of Walmart. Um, I did. Uh, I guess. Okay, I knew that mothballs have chemicals in them. I know the sun is like, it's like wacky. Should I just sit back? Okay, whatever. Okay. So I knew that mothballs have a chemical in them. Um, but I wasn't thinking necessarily, so I didn't get the mothballs. I thought about, I was literally on TikTok looking at different suggestions that people have left. So I kind of did a combination of things um, outside of the mothballs because where I want to put the mothballs, you have to put mothballs in enclosed areas so that the chemicals don't come out. But I want to put it um i don't want to put it i don't have they're not closed moths like i don't want to put them in my drawers like i just want to put i want to put them um like in my like living area so i ended up my seat is a mess so i ended up getting a little thing of bleach because i need to refill my little bleach sprays and i'm like i might as well just buy the regular bleach instead of just buying bleach sprays it's like i already have a spray bottle just put the bleach in the spray bottle like girl um and then i just bought a little spray bottle <laughs> i bought a spray bottle this was a dollar because i was thinking i can go to the dollar store and get a little spray bottle but this was literally a dollar so that's fine they had the smaller ones for two a pack of two for four dollars so i just was like just get the big one for one dollar whatever i did see people saying suggestion that cedar also kills moths and it does say that on the packages and this is natural and chemical free now the smell of it i'm not the craziest about <laughs> Uh, but if that's what works, then cool. I saw a woman do the wool balls, these like dryer balls, and she put, um, uh, lavender in them. And then she just placed them like essential lavender oil in them. And then you can just place them wherever you want them to be because moths don't like lavender. So I'm okay with just putting these little, a little ball in the corner in the closet somewhere or my pantry or something like that. 
so I'll put some essential oil in there I did they didn't have any more of the singular uh, lavender essential oils, so I just had to get a pack of three which I wasn't crazy about at all because this was like $13 I just wanted one but I would have to go to a different Walmart or try to find somewhere else and I don't feel like doing it I'm not going all the way to a different Walmart child girl so I just got the pack of three it's just peppermint which is fine because I still do have that little diffuser that I can put the peppermint oil in the lavender of course and then it has lemon so I'm just like that's fine I'll still make use of the other two even though I really just need the lavender um what else did I get oh and last thing <laughs> I had to snip I had to I had to grab this in there because I was like red <laughs> hopefully I like it on my actual nails but I thought this was pretty and I love I like Essie like I'm I always liked Essie like even when I was younger and my dad I would have my own nail polishes my dad would get me nail polish or something he would get Essie <laughs> um I guess uh, partially because of the Dane brand but I really like the applicator it's a weird it's like a little it's like a a certain hold on let me see if I can clear it off it's like a certain it has like a roundness to it I, I don't I, it's when I'm painting my nails it just glides on better to me the se bottles as comparison to the opis it just has a different applicator whatever okay that's y'all don't care <laughs> uh, so I got a red nail polish so I'm gonna do the red today I'm actually excited about it I'm excited um uh, I actually really need to eat something immediately so I need to go and grab something or whatever i'm gonna go home i'm gonna save the produce market for another day i'm just gonna keep it in the back of my mind i do have some fruit still at the house so i'm not like starving for fruit but i want to keep that in mind for the future um you know when i uh when i need some more fruit just to go to an actual produce market so one uh, one last thing before i go when i was in new york with the girls uh jesse she had these little things <laughs> and i completely forgot like as many sunglasses as i buy you would think i would keep one in my bag because she had one in her bag my camera just kept getting dirty and i was like she was carrying one with her so being around her reminded me to keep one in my bag so that i can clean off my camera because my outfit that day nothing was good enough for the camera clean like it wasn't cotton i had on yeah i didn't have any cotton on so like i was it was difficult for me to clean my cameras off like my you know my phone and then my uh my camera and then now i just keep one in my car too <laughs> i have like a little one i'm like i have so many of these little things i just need to keep in different areas of course i have one in my house but i want to keep one in my bag so i can just clean my camera off and i have to rely on my clothes to clean my camera you know but okay i'm gonna end the vlog off here because i know i'm at a good hour at this point i love you guys thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you next time bye Double text. Got me out of my element. I don't want to feel like I'm settling. Double texting you. It's SPF season. Clearly, her big business. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a problem for another day. Bing. Cute, but no, like cute, but like. Yeah, 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 yeah. These things are monstrous. No, these monstrous is crazy. <laughs> what was that sound? Oh lordy. <laughs> oh, I left the box. Yeah. Why are they this big? The shelf. The spot where your hair. If it would focus. About four miles. These over, uh, uh, excuse me. Death, death. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> tired of it, y'all. I'm tired. Okay, bye.